Are you in that fifth who's been threatened with violence and physically assaulted? Yeah, over my sort of 25 years of teaching, you know, I've had children throwing pretty nasty missiles at me, rip cans in my chair, um, being kicked. I've been hit over the back of the head. Um, yes, I suppose I am. Um, I've faced children's aggression. And you're still a teacher. Why do you carry on? <laughs> I think I have learnt to get strategies to deal with these sorts of situations. I mean, in my experience, you get three types of kind of real problem kid. The kind of yob that's a real sort of loud mouth, a crook who's kind of secretive and often doing some really shady things like drug dealing and that kind of thing. And then the, occasionally you get what I would call the kind of psychotic child who is, I mean, like Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver, you looking at me, you know, it's really scary. Which makes um, you think, surely, there should be more protection for you if those types of children are lurking out there. I, I agree with that. I think there should be more protection because, you know, in times when I have gone to management to complain about this, I have found they don't really want to know because, of course, the last thing a, a school wants to do is admit that they've got a really troubled character in it carrying a knife around. Um, so often there's a bit of a cover-up culture going on, which I think we really need to address. Well, some schools have. Some have confronted that and they have put security measures uh, in place. We filmed at George Mitchell School uh, which is in Leighton in East London, where they use scanners to search pupils for knives and weapons. Here's what some of the kids there had to say. People don't bring things that they're not meant to because they don't know the day that they will be getting searched. It's necessary to prevent other people from bringing in dangerous weapons. So some people will think, well, you know, saying we need scanners and metal detectors is a knee-jerk reaction from overly worried parents, but the kids there seem to think it's mm. a good idea. Yeah, I mean, actually, I'm not against the idea of doing it, but I think having a blanket thing across the country where you put them in every school would be a foolish move. I think we, the law gives head teachers the power to do this. And yes, at appropriate moments and appropriate times, I think you probably do need to do it at certain, and when you've found out there's something going on. A few messages on this. Jean Scooter on Facebook. There's no discipline these days, so unfortunately, metal detectors the answer of this is treated as a one-off, it'll happen again. Mitzi Klein reckons that she doesn't believe it's a stronger security we need, but stronger deterrence, such as hard prison sentences. These are still children, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that works. I mean, I've seen it myself, you know, some of these children do go into youth offenders institutions, and I have seen that happen, and they come out worse. They're a worse problem for society and often, you know, doing some terrible things. And so I think we have to work with young children on rehabilitation and, and figure out a way. And I've seen amazing teachers really work with these difficult children, but often perhaps within school, but in what we call an inclusion unit, mm -hmm. and really trying to figure out what is going on in their lives and, and giving them a sense that they can succeed. And that is crucial because if they think they're just going to fail and everyone hates them, um, they kick off.